Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the dyno mule from the N65s to the 9210s. So the 9210 is 110 cc's of fuel from 65 cc's. This is the graveyard of injectors. And here's the 9200s with the uh, large tips. So I put in 140 millimeter tips, 140 cc tips, and the and the 3750 psi uh, springs. So they replace these springs here. So my theory is, with the new tips and the 3750 psi uh, springs. It should be a clean burn, but uh, I don't know until we we try it out. So we're going to put these in and then do a dyno run today, just a quick one, to see how the divided housing reacts to the big injectors. So here's the divided housing I put on yesterday. I did a quick run with the N65s, and surprisingly it did pretty good. So I'm going to keep it on and run the 9210s and uh, see how it performs. So I'll swap these injectors out and we'll fire the mule up and do a few pulls. Okay, the N65s are out. And here they are. So we're gonna put the 9210s in. This is an experiment. I don't think Detroit ever made 9210s with the 3750 spring. I could be wrong, but I don't think they did. So we'll see how it uh, how it reacts. It might be a total failure. <laughs> All right, the 9210s are in. I uh, ran the rack, set the injector height to 1.46. And the fuel modulator set to 0.454. I believe that's the last setting I had on the 9200s. So we're going to uh, fire it up and just check uh, for fuel leaks on the jumper lines. It's either going to run good or it's not going to run good. I don't know what to expect. Make sure there's no parts going around. Okay. I didn't prime the injectors or the fuel system, so it may take a few turns. really nice so put the valve cover back on 
and we'll do some pulls.
<laughs> yeah, that was a good run. But the divided housing is uh, causing a little bit of stress to the whole performance. Yeah, so I think I'll get better performance out of the uh, open housing now. Although it pulled really well, holy smokes. <laughs> uh, crazy numbers, let me, uh, let me shut off the pump and then I'll uh, go through the numbers with you. All right, I couldn't do a lot of pulls. So these numbers, uh, I don't know if they're so accurate, but they're, they're accurate enough. So we ran 35 minutes on this one. A quick run. We did basically two pulls for horsepower, two pulls for uh, torque. Uh, not in that order. We did torque first, then horsepower. And we made 700 foot pounds of torque at uh, 1500 RPM with the 500cc injector, uh, 260 horse at 2300 RPM. With the 1000cc injector, we made 720 foot-pounds of torque <laughs> and uh, 272 horse. That's the most this thing's ever made. We're going to switch out the uh, divided housing and for the next run we'll put in the uh, uh, 0.82 open housing. So top boost was 24 PSI. 37 airbox and basically 37 drive, both the same. Uh, at uh, 2300 RPM, uh, temperature in the intercooler was 260 going in, coming out was 125. Uh, for the 1500 RPM pulls, the uh, boost was about 20 psi across the board, basically. So. Uh, Really good run. I'm really excited to see what it does with uh, the open housing. I should see a lot better numbers. Yeah, I didn't test uh, just straight diesel. I just didn't have enough time to do that. So I'll do that on the next test. I'll run straight diesel, 500 cc, and then 1,000 cc in that order. And then that, that way I'll get a very good idea what it'll do on diesel. So there you have it guys, uh, 272 horse and 720 foot-pounds. <laughs> That's pretty good. And this, we can stretch this some more. That, that divided housing is not optimum. We'll put on the other housing and try that one. And then I'll try my uh, uh, 364 again, see what that does. Uh, but yeah, very good numbers. Injectors seem to run really nice, so yeah, we'll just keep on testing. Um, again, guys, thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.